so let's get started uh, with the fourth problem so in uh, fourth problem we are going to learn about the loft command about the loft command so here uh, dimensions here one unit equal to 100 mm so we have to convert this to uh, 275 equal 2.75 which is equal to 275 mm and this is equal to 150 mm and 1 means 100 mm so here height is 200 mm and this is 100 mm so let's get started with AutoCAD so as usual units limits to twenty seven comma to ten enter zoom on. so first same as a rectangle home so rectangle so actually two seventy five into two seventy five so will be drawing a square so dimensions so 275 enter 275 another inside another rectangle will draw whose dimension is 100 enter 100 100 cross 100 so we will be moving this to the center so here move command click on move so select the object enter base point move to the center okay. this is one component and for this passage for this passage we have to draw the diagram and we will use subtract option so for that we have to draw again another component so these dimensions are 275 into 150 another 150 into 275 okay so again rectangle dimensions so 275 enter 150 this one rectangle another rectangle dimensions 275 so it's 275 enter rectangle dimension 275 275 enter 100 now move command click on move select the object enter reference point to the center point over now isometric so height this one height is i think 200 and this one is 100 so we will move this to 200 mm in, in z direction so click on move select the object enter so auto on so how much 200 enter so this is move to 200 now 
again move command enter so this one is again auto on 100 yeah. okay. now I have zoomed out now loft command so here loft so difference between extrude and loft is in extrude the both the base and the top both are same size and shape but for loft both are different in sizes and it can be different shape also so that's why we are going for loft so Object enter midpoint and midpoint midpoint. So both are moved now. Subtract commas. So now both are different. Now we have to subtract. So click on this one is separate so intercept so this one is separate so the bigger object okay selected and now enter smaller object enter so it is removed now conceptual drawing so we get we got this one so standard view first angle okay now base model model space model enter layout one front view top view side view isometric view and next we have to do the dimension So this is the answer for fourth problem. Thank you.